we unconsciously create all the time by doing this action speaking thoughts that is how our mind becomes programmed your thoughts are eventually going to line up and that's the thing when your thoughts line up with where it's supposed to be that's when you start thinking more thoughts like that um naturally you don't have to force yourself to think positive you don't have to force yourself to to be like oh, i'm about it I love myself, and you don't even feel this way. Hi, you what? It's your girl, Connie, and you are back watching another episode of the Free Mind, where we take back the control of our minds and our reality into all my new reminders. Make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to the channel so that way you be ready to tap in when it's time to tap in and so that other people who need to hear this information can hear it if you guys like comment and subscribe other people who are going through these same things that you're going through will be able to see it when you do that and to all my other three minors when they have been here i love you guys so so much and we'll get straight into this episode now as you can see by the title i'm going to be telling you guys how you can reverse your dark creations into your light creation now a dark creation is a creation that some of us may deem to be bad while light creation is something that we may think it is something that is good that goes towards our desires instead of away and so i don't really care to label these creations because at the end of the day all creations are just creations whether it's has this label or not and so i don't like to label them but for everyone to understand what i'm saying i decide i'm going to just call them a dark creation versus a light creation so i'm going to tell you guys today in this episode how you can literally switch off the dark creation and switch on the light creation how you can transform the darkness into the light so, or come out of the darkness and go into the light. I'm going to tell y'all that, but you got to stick around to the end to see. Now, I also took some notes, y'all. So, don't mind me. I will be reading a few things from my notes. Now, first, before I can even tell you guys how to reverse your creation from a dark creation to a light creation, I'm going to first tell y'all how things are created in the first place and we all know what this is it's simple thoughts thoughts are the first thing that happen that creates our reality it's actually not the first thing that happened because i'm going to read to you guys something in a second but just stick with me, right so our thoughts create our reality once we think something then we start to say something then we start to act on something so first we have thoughts words actions when I decided, I'm like, I, I want to be healthy. I first had a thought that was like, I don't want to eat this food. I want to be healthy. I want to take care of my body. I want to take care of myself. I want that internal glow. I first had that thought that said, I want this. This is what I want. Then as I walked around, going to work and everything else, I'm like, I want to be healthy. I'm about to start eating healthy. And then I started thinking of ideas of how can I be healthy? How can I do this? And then that's when I started to implement action into being healthy. Now I'm going to go to the grocery store and buy healthier options of food. Or I'm going to cook healthier options of food and stop eating certain things. Everything thoughts, everything starts from a thought. Now I want to read to you guys, but before I read, I need to express that with those three steps of creation, the foundation of that because each thing holds its own um sort of energy to it like you can have these thoughts all, all day long but that's not going to materialize until you do the next two steps you can talk about it all day long but it's not going to materialize until you do that last step that's just how it works okay but the foundation of this whole creation process is our emotions it is our emotions and how we feel towards um what we want 
is the true way that things are created. Now, I said that, you know, you have the three steps, the three steps of creation, which is thoughts, words, and action. I'm going to tell y'all how things are truly created. So, first, the beginning of every creation is God. And the end of every creation is action. So, first things first is actions, right? Are words expressed. When you do an action, you first express the word. Words are thoughts expressed. When you before you can speak about something, you had the thought of it. Thoughts are ideas formed. Thoughts are infinite intelligence coming to your mind. Something from source is speaking to you and giving you this this idea, right? Giving you this thought. Ideas are energy coming together. So this is energy in the universe coming together to create this idea to give it to you, right? Energy are forces released, meaning forces in the universe are released from something somewhere, somehow, some way, and it creates energy. Forces are elements existing, elements like, you know, science. That stuff. It elements are particles of God. Elements are particles of God. See, if you just pay attention to what I said, everything ended with action, but started with God. So God first is everywhere, everything going on all the time, right? God transforms itself into an element, into a, into into forces, into energy, into ideas, into thoughts, into words, and into actions, and that's how your your reality is created. Now, now y'all probably wondering, how do I reverse this dark creation? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you, but first, before I tell you, I'm gonna need y'all to leave some comments before I. Have to with you. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Anyway, no, for real. Leave some comments. Leave some comments, y'all, and let me know something. Say hi. Tell me how a nice my outfit looks, because I'll put that, I'll put it on today. <laughs> okay. Now, let me stop playing with y'all. I'm going to tell y'all. So, how you reverse a dark creation into a light creation is by literally taking the three steps of creation and flipping them around. Action becomes first, words become second, thoughts become last. I'm going to give you an example of what this is. Say you wake up in the morning and the first thing you do is you start scrolling. Then you um, you start scrolling and you get to thinking like, man, I really want, we need to be productive. And, but I keep waking up and I keep scrolling on Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is. And you're like, I just really want to be productive. This is what I need to do. Right. But then as time goes on, now you start to think in your head, okay, I really have not been productive lately. You start thinking that. And then that becomes your thing. That becomes the universe then starts to say, yes, you're not productive, right? And then you start to show up in ways in your life how you're not productive. Now, let's look at the reverse creation of this example. Say you wake up in the morning and you make up your bed. First thing you do is you get up, make up your bed, meditate, drink water. The first thing you did was an action. Right? You got up, made your bed, drank water, meditated, whatever, and then you started to say, Man, I feel good. I feel good right now. And then your thoughts were like, Hmm, I'm very productive. I'm being so productive. I'm taking care of myself. I love this. I'm having I'm taking care of myself. I just love this this space that I'm in mentally. I'm doing what I gotta do. I'm focused on so many things my mind is clear 
You know what I'm saying? Now you're the universe is gonna say, Yes, yes, that's 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 what it is. That's what's happening. Mind you, even though I've stated, this is the, the crazy thing about it, even though I've stated that you got the, the, the three tools of creation and you flip them around, both of those things started with action. You scrolling on in the bed led to you talking to yourself, saying that you're productive, to thinking you're not productive, getting up in the morning, doing what you're supposed to do. You're like, man, I feel good. Thinking, man, I feel good. Right? You see how those started with action, both of them, both of those ways. That is how our mind becomes programmed to think thoughts unconsciously. That's when we're tapping into our subconscious brain. That's when we're knocking on the subconscious brain. Because when we act first and we think later, we're immediately knocking on the subconscious door. When we consciously create, it's this way. It's the thoughts, speaking, action, right? That's when we're consciously creating because we're like, man, I need to think better. I need to think, I need to think positive. I need to do this, I need to do this. And so we start thinking better thoughts sometimes and then we start speaking our affirmations and then we start trying to change our habits and things like this. And that's how we consciously create, which I probably should have said at the beginning. But if you're here now, then you know, you know, you see what I'm saying? So when you flip it around this way, you do action first, speak, speak next, and then you start thinking. Now you are unconsciously creating, but in a way that is natural and normal to you because you're so used to unconsciously creating. So the whole point of thinking first, thinking, baby, I'm going to say action. Action first is because when you do an action first and you think later, you don't leave any room for negative thoughts. I'm going to give you another example. Say there's a homeless person and you want to give them money. You reach in your pocket and you like, and, and, and you say, start looking at you and you ain't even got enough. So you put it back in your eye and you ain't got enough. Now you're starting thinking, now you're starting to think the thoughts of lack. You see what just happened there? The action was to give them the money. You pulled it out. You were like, here, I, and you thought, you looked at it. You said, man, I ain't got enough money. And you, you put it back in your pocket. And you started thinking lack. Then that is what is, that is what becomes created in your reality. That lack. So let's look at the reverse creation of that, right? You see a homeless person and you're like, man, I need to give me some money. You pull out the money and you just hand it to them. You don't even think about it. You don't, you don't, you don't look at it. You don't think nothing. You give it to them. You, and then at that moment, I don't know what you would say to yourself, right? But you would start thinking like, man, I might not have had enough right now when you actually do look at it. You're like, oh, man, you put it back in your pocket. You're like, oh, man, I probably didn't have enough. But then you start thinking, it's okay because guess what? There's more where that came from. I'm always making money. I'm always going to get more money. So it doesn't matter that I gave this person something because I know more is going to come back to me. Do you see how that works? We unconsciously create all the time by doing this, action, speaking, thoughts. But when we do it in a way that goes against our light creation, we start to create more of the dark. So it's like, if you know you want to change something about yourself, you know you want to change this this thing about you, don't think about, don't start thinking about, okay, how can I change it? Or, I mean, yes, think about it, but don't start like doing too much thinking, right? Start putting in action. If you know that you don't like waking up early, but you need to because you need to be, be more productive about the day, set your alarm at the, at the um, I don't know why I pointed to my room, set your alarm or your phone, whatever it is, across the room. That way you have no choice but to get up in the morning. If you know you're lacking in a certain area, start doing the opposite of what that looks like. And then that's how you do the um, reverse creation. Acting, speaking, thoughts. Your thoughts are eventually going to line up. And that's the thing. When your thoughts line up with where it's supposed to be, that's when you start thinking more thoughts like that um, naturally. 
you don't have to force yourself to think positive. You don't have to force yourself to to be like, oh, I'm above it. I love myself. And you don't even feel this way. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, this is a really, 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 really mind-blowing thing that when I learned this, I'm like, oh my gosh, this makes so much sense. So, with that being said, because this is the end of the episode, I need you guys to let me know in the comments, do you like this theory? It, do you like this theory? For one, try this theory and let me know when you try it and what you tried it with doing, like what was the thing you tried you try to change, and then come back and you let me know when that has been changed and completed and reversed. Let me know. Let me know. Tell me the different things that you are wanting to like, okay, this is a dark creation that I created, but I want it to be a light creation. Tell me what that is in the comments right now. Right now. Now, it is the end of the episode. Okay, I know, I'm sorry. I have to go. <laughs> I'll see you next week. And make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys like this. Like it, 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 and subscribe. I have a new goal, and my goal is 20,000 subscribers. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe because somebody needs to see this video. Somebody needs to see this episode. Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody is out there like, I don't know what to do. And I just gave the gems for free, for free, for free. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.